everyone, Voodoo here, and season four news has officially dropped for real this time. So last week we had like trinket tuning. Well, this week we actually have a PTR and a bunch of new things. So let me go over it quickly. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting close to 10,000. We're gonna have the, the normal patch content cycle coming up. Havoc and most classes aren't receiving many changes. So it won't be like trinket stuff and sim stuff and everything like that. But all that will be happening, guides, everything like that. So, you know, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, so confirmed these dungeons. I think that happened last week, but we know that the progression curve is going to be in. Um, they have a new currency, the Antique Bronze Bullion, which is basically the dinars, if anyone played in season four of Shadowlands. Um, the dinars let you buy any raid item. We'll get into that. There's uh, people already in the game and PTR for vendors. Um, there's more new difficulties, uh, sorry, not difficulties, rewards. You can get a new dragon riding mount from doing all normal modes, raids, a title for heroic, and portals for mythic. You can get the really boring new season, whatever, four mount for M+. Still can't fly, so that sucks. Get your portals, all the tier drops, uh, or whatever you voted for. Legendaries drop as usual, but you can buy an item to upgrade them to 502 and then upgrade them with crests and flight stones like normal gear. So if you already have a legendary, don't worry. You can just kind of buy the better version, which is good. They also buffed all the legendary drops. So I know Havoc doesn't have one, but for any evoker or two-handed strength user alts out there or players out there, uh, you can get this. And of course, these are all the new stuff. Draconic, Draconic Hero, a new Northrend racing. You can get Awakened Hero for doing the raids, which are on a rotation, unfortunately which does suck um and yeah so it's kind of the broad scope moving a little bit more specifically we do have a giant giant route of tuning changes to dungeons now the dungeon pool is eight returning dragonflight dungeons we know that dawn of the infinite is going to be upgraded to um m0 eye level so 515 maximum eye level which means that you can get a 515 double time which will be a very very strong weapon i'll probably have a video of that uh soon i don't know when but i'll have a video about that so you're gonna want to get that there's also a hard mode thing i think it'll just drop last boss stuff but there's a chance you can get an even higher level one we'll see but there are a ton of changes to dungeons this is all the stuff we went over already with the um changing of the curve and then there's actually dungeon updates so they added a checkpoint after gulping goliath to halls infusion and they basically nerfed a bunch of the trash which is really good they like reworked the dragons which are the hardest trash in the instance basically little orbs do basically half the damage they did before and they made some uh visual stuff a little bit better which is huge this this dungeon was just hard and there only being one gauntlet made it i'm sorry one checkpoint made that way worse if you ever wiped they also made the bosses a little bit easier um, azure vault more timer which is great makes it a little easier um, they nerfed a bunch of a bunch of trash again uh nerfed bosses and then they made umbral skull they reworked it a little bit i think crystallize now gives you just like pulsing damage so you really want to kill those crystals but the movement slow is gone which is like blessed that stuck uh back on hollow they just removed a bunch of dots and stuff down here they nerfed a bunch of hard trash as well sink breath now is reasonable and, and locks which is great they nerfed the first boss which is wonderful um here they just again nerfed a bunch of trash they made croth way easier because they nerfed uh firestorm and savage peck which were really really hard um doragosa got a new mechanic which isn't that big of a deal i think it just causes like um orbs to kind of like deal damage whenever you hit maximum energy um that boss did nothing already so it's good it has a mechanic it's actually interesting now um Notharis, they made burning chains only usable once and now stuns everything and increases damage taken by 15 percent 50 percent for five seconds um so that's a lot better well i don't say a lot better it is nerfed but you know you actually do the damage now less cheesable which is pretty good um chargath they made reasonable you can now do it if a player dies and then you can also melee the boss during the intermission which was not doable before uh, and also grinding chain gives you knockbacks so you don't get dealt damage from it uh world of sarga now made doable if you don't have a curse to spell which is great and now i think this is the charge i just don't have might and that was the charge in that got everyone killed that being gone again is good the good offensive again they just nerf stuff they removed hard damaging stuff. They removed, um, removed damage bonuses, made stuff cast less often, reduced the frequency of storm winds during the intermission, which is great on Balakar Khan. 
Ruby Life Pool, they nerfed, uh, they just removed stone missiles from the Terra Sentry and they nerfed the boss. Garaka for the final one. The damage reduced, but duration increased. I think that's fine. Duration increase isn't that big of a deal. Like one extra second is not that big of a deal, but they also then reduce his damage, damage by 25%. So I actually think this is, I think the same damage, they increased it by 25%, but then nerf its damage, but it'll be less per tick and spread out over a longer time. So it'll be less one shoddy. And then finally they just nerf the dwarves in tier. I think tier might still need some, but of course this is great, these dungeons, Obviously we're a little hard compared to all the other stuff in the season. Whenever you did these dungeons, they were the hard ones. So, you know, that's great there. We'll see if more stuff happens, but overall pretty good stuff. And then in-game PTR is up. You can test dungeons. I'll probably be testing dungeons at some point this week. Um, not really sure why, but you know, might as well. And they've added vendors for the new Dinar system. They are over here in the bronze enclave. So you gotta explore the rest of Baldraken. It's right across from the engine of innovation which is where the initial spark quest happened during season one. If anyone remembers that from like a year and a half ago, two years ago now, which is crazy. Uh, and here we go. So we have one vendor for each of the three raids, no M plus vendor, which is how it was in Shadowlands. And each of them sells stuff for two uh, antique bronze bullion. Now we don't really know how we get these yet, but everything being worth two suggests you can end up getting a lot of them. We have the vendor here for um, Amir Drasil. It drops all the items as well as the very rare stuff like Augury, um, and they can all be upgraded to max eye level. So 12 on the myth on the track is equivalent to four out of four myth. And then 14 on the track is only available for very rare items from the last few bosses. That's equivalent to whatever 496 is now. So these can all go up to 489 basically, or the equivalent of 49, which I believe is 520, five or something like that 528 somewhere in that range and then i believe this goes up to 535 i think i have them here yeah 535 and 528 are the uh two eye levels here so those are the maximum ones there's vendors in valdraken if you want to see it uh this guy sells you the stuff from the second raid again voice of silent star is one of the 14 everything else goes up to 112 uh, i guess called chaos as well but we don't use that so who cares and then finally the vault vendor. Now there is another one in here who sells like cosmetics. I think it may be this one. Yeah, this person sells cosmetics. You can get uh, like weapon appearances and stuff. Um, just like a ton of weapon appearances uh, for like extra things, as well as Jigglesworth Senior, which was the mount from season four of Shadowlands where you got it when you killed all the raid bosses on normal or maybe heroic, I don't remember. That was a while ago. Uh, and this one, I already have it, but you can buy this one as well. So that signifies to me you can get many of these, um, you, despite the fact that they're priceless. So overall, obviously not great stuff because you'd want to see more experimentation in the season. You want to see maybe new raid stuff, new Mythic Plus affixes, stuff like that. But we don't know if they've announced everything or not yet. We'll have to wait and see. But, you know, kind of early stuff here for season four. So just a quick little update for everything. Again, I'll have uh, videos going over Havoc stuff as the... PTR cycle uh, continues. Maybe some more stuff in other classes as well. We'll see. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're hoping for. Maybe we get more stuff in season four. Maybe not, but it looks like it should just kind of hold everyone over until we hit to the war within, which honestly I think is looking pretty exciting. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace. A big thank you to all of my channel members. Thank you, Sky Elk. Andrew Keenell, 100,001 Zans, Guillermo Lamas, Brad Wisniak, It's Bulk, and Magic Man 133. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel and get a few perks along the way, check the link in the description to become a channel member, or go follow me on Twitch and sub there. Again, thank you all so, so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.